Hey everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this video, you will be learning how you can create invoices automatically on receiving payments from your customers. So guys, to create this automation, we are using two applications. One is Stripe and other is Xero. So now you can see on my screen, this will be the flow of this automation, guys. Stripe here is a payment gateway application and Xero is an accounting software. So as and when a new sale is going to happen through Stripe's payment page, an invoice will be created automatically in Xero application. So guys, you do not need to manually see which product is getting purchased in Stripe, what is the amount, who is the customer, and you do not need to manually create invoices here. So it will happen automatically and it will surely save a huge amount of your time and your manual efforts. So guys, to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills. So guys, now let me show you how you can also set up this automation. So guys, to set up this automation, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And to reach here, you can use this link, pabli.com slash connect. We have pasted the same in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking on the sign up free button. And after that, you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and then you can log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation. For that, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any proper name to this workflow. So here I'm giving the name as Stripe. S-T-R-I-P-E, Stripe to zero automation okay so after giving the name like this you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up and here you will find this beautiful workflow page and here you can see we have this trigger and the action so these are the basic building blocks of this automation so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be receiving of any payment from Stripe and the action towards that trigger would be to create an invoice for that customer and for that product, right? So first of all, you need to set up the trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application, which is Stripe in our case. So search for Stripe. Okay, select it. And here in the trigger event, you have to select new charge option. So it will trigger when someone's credit card is charged. Okay, new charge. And it will give you this URL, webhook URL, guys. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with the Stripe application. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that webhook connection. Okay, so you need to follow these instructions written here. You can see we need to reach the webhook section, setting section on the dashboard of a stripe and there we have to add an endpoint let us see here is my stripe applications dashboard let me click on home page and here guys you will find this developers option you have to click on developers and under the developer section you can see we have this webhooks option click on webhooks and here you will find this add endpoint button click on add endpoint and here you have to paste the webhook url in the endpoint URL section. So this is our URL. You can just copy it from here and paste it here in this field like this. Okay. So guys, here it is asking to select the events now. Okay. So from here, by clicking on the select events button, you have to select that event on which you want to send the data from Stripe to uh, our workflow. So guys, we want that whenever we receive a payment from any payment page we have created in Stripe, we want to send the data to uh, our workflow so that we can create an invoice so click on this select events button and here you will find this charge option when you click on charge here you will find this charge dot succeeded option so it occurs whenever whenever a charge is successful that means a payment is captured so just check this event like this and then click on add events here you can see an event is added here now click on add endpoint and a new endpoint will be created here like this okay so here you can see in our workflow, as I have copied this webhook URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means we have to 
create a demo purchase from our Stripe's payment page and then we are going to capture the data of that demo purchase here that will act as a test data for us and with the help of that we are going to move forward okay so guys here you can see inside my uh, product section of Stripe I have created these kind of products and we are in the test mode okay so these are the test products I have created so let us purchase any of the product let's say I want to purchase this Redmi 11i mobile phone okay so this is the payment page of this product let me show you here it is okay so here I am going to enter the test card detail oh sorry first of all let me fill the contact information of uh, any demo customer so I am selecting this email ID and here let me provide the phone number okay so you can see I have filled the all the related details and here I am clicking on pay so here you can see guys our payment is successful for this product and here it is showing thanks for your payment now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this demo payment captured or not and here you can see we got the data captured here like this okay so here it is showing you the details of the customer okay and related details of the payment like this payment complete card details all the things are here right and guys here you can see we have received the payment amount as well here you can see it is showing the amount and here it is showing 55,000 actually the payment we have received here is of 5,500 but it is showing two extra zeros after this decimal point here in our workflow because we it doesn't it doesn't capture this decimal decimal point here in the workflow so here it is showing two extra zeros so we can uh, correct this amount by using a feature of public connect let me show you here we can use this action action step and from here you can search for a feature of public connect which is called number formatter okay and here we have a uh, action event which is this perform math operation so with the help of this we can divide this number by 100 so that we can remove these two extra zeros and get the corrected amount okay for that select perform math operation then click on connect here and here it is asking for the numbers so first number that we are going to enter here is this data object amount okay so I'm going to map this label here guys so to map the label just click here on this numbers field and it will show the stripe new charge option in the drop down so when you click on it it will show you all the data that you have received in the first step so just map this label from here okay then put a comma here and put 100 okay so this means we want to perform a math operation between these two numbers and the operation that we want to perform is divide so select from the operations list divide okay so it will divide this amount by 100 okay now click on save and send test request and here you can see in this res response result label we got the corrected amount which is the actual amount that we have received from stripe which is this okay that's how we can get the corrected amount guys and uh, to create an invoice in zero application you can see this is a, a kind of invoice that we, we are going to create here you can see in this invoice we enter the date of the payment and the due date of the invoice as well so sometimes if you don't receive payments or you don't receive the full payment you can provide a due date also in the invoice so to generate a due date you can use some features here in Pabli Connect for that you can just click here on this plus icon and here uh, you can search for date time formatter okay so with the help of date time formatter let's say you want to provide the date of payment here even if you do not want to provide due date you still need to provide the date of the payment okay so to get the date of the payment first what we are going to do here we are going to select an action event here which is called current date so it will retrieve the current date guys this means the date of the running of the workflow this means the date on which we are receiving the payment okay so click on connect here and here it is asking for the format of the date so here you can see this is the format that we are using here 7 July 2022 so you can find this format here from this list uh, which is this one DDMMYY this is the normal format that we use so select this so if you want to so we do not want to include any time in the response so I'm making it false now click on save and send test request and you will get this kind of date here so this is our date of payment okay and 
if you want to provide a due date also what you can do just click here on this plus icon and from here you can search for date time formatter again okay and here we have another action step which is called modify current date so with the help of this you can modify this current date so let's say the due date of the payment uh, you want to provide is two days after the receiving of the first payment okay so we want to add two more days in this date so that we can get the due date for that you can use this modify current date option and now click on connect and here it is asking for the format so select the same format that we have selected in the first step only then you can select the time zone my time zone is asia kolkata because i am working in india you have to select yours okay here it is asking for the operation so i want to add two more days to this date to get the uh, due date so i am selecting add operation here here it is asking the units so i'm adding days here and here i'm going to put the value as two okay now click on save and send test request okay so this will be our due date right now guys finally what we want we want to create an invoice with the help of zero application okay which is an accounting software but guys here we have multiple products in uh, you know uh, stripe we have this neat revision notes we are selling this phone we have public connect application or digital marketing courses similarly you can have multiple products you can have multiple payment pages of the products as well so we want to create invoices for every product okay not just one product so for creating invoices for every product we are going to create different routes or different paths for different products okay so just click here on this plus icon and from this action step use router feature here router will, will provide you different paths here you can see it is showing us two paths right now so i'll show you the demo by creating uh, invoices for two products you can add more routes here by clicking on this add route button okay so first of all let's create a route for this product that we have just purchased and captured the test data which is for redmi 11i uh, mobile phone okay so you can rename these routes also so you can understand things better so i am putting the name of this route as redmi 11i the name of our product okay right you can see that the route is updated and here click on set filter and action steps and here it is asking for the filter so with the help of this filter we can apply a condition here and the condition is when the product got purchased is this then create uh, an invoice for this product okay so we are going to use the test data that we have received here in the first step okay and in this test data we have received this amount okay so you can use this test data amount label or you can use this amount that is corrected amount here okay so let me select this corrected amount here in this filter step from this route here it is asking to select the label so click on select label option and here it will show you the previous steps and from the second step where we got the corrected corrected amount result label map this result make the filter type equals to and put here the amount of the payment okay this means we are say, saying to public connect that when we receive 5500 equals to 5500 as the amount then continue the workflow and create an invoice for this product okay so click on save and send test request here and you can see the condition is true for this product now click on this plus icon and from here let's create now an invoice in zero application so select zero from here okay and the action event would be create an invoice then click on connect and from here if you're making the connection with zero for the first time select add new connection option and here you can give a name to this connection also and this connection is going to be saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again you can use that same existing connection that you are creating right now okay so click on connect with zero and here it is asking for the client's id and the client secret key so guys to find these things first of all you need to go to the zero developers application and there you can create an app and you will find these things so you can read here you can create a developer app in zero developer area as I explained here so when you click on this here word written in blue you can reach this page guys 
So you can see on this forum page, we have a detailed explanation step by step for connection of zero inside Pabli Connect and how to create an app in zero. So you can see we need to have a zero account first. So we have a zero account. Then you have to go on this website on the developer section of zero. So by clicking on this link, you can reach the developers page like this. And here you have to log in with the same credentials as of your zeros account. Okay. And that's how you can log in here. And here you can see I'm under my apps section. Okay. <clears throat> so here you can create an app by clicking on this new app option, click on new app. And here you can give a name to this application. So I'm giving the name here as uh, let's say Stripe payments. Okay. And it is a web app, select web app option. And here it is asking for the company application URL and the redirect URL. So you can find these things from the forum page only. Here you can see when you scroll down here, you can see the screenshots and here you can see we have this company URL. You can copy this company URL and paste it here in this field. Similarly, you will find the redirect URL here or callback URL, copy this link and paste it here. Right. And then check this uh, uh, terms and conditions and then click on create app. And you can see a new app is created here. Okay, Stripe payments. Now you have to click on this configurations tab. And here you will find the client ID that we needed here. So you can just open this client ID, copy it and paste it here in this client ID field like this. Okay. Similarly, you will find you can generate a secret key here by clicking on this generate a secret button and this that's a secret. You can copy it and paste it here like this. And that's how you can connect. Now click on save. And you can see it will bring you to this window. From and from this window, guys, you have to scroll down and click on allow access. Okay. And you can see we are getting connected with zero. Okay. So we are now connected and here it is asking for the organization's name. So organization's name is Paritosh Sahu. This is the account holder's name. Okay. Keep it selected. And here it is asking for the type of invoice you want to create. So select this a sales invoice commonly known as accounts receivable. Okay. Select this. And here it is asking for the biller's name. Okay. So here to provide biller contact details, or uh, uh, we are going to use the test data that we have received from the first step from Stripe. So you just have to click here and it will show you all the previous steps. So from the Stripe option, you can map the name label that you have received of your customer. This is the name label map it. Okay. And for the invoice number, you can uh, use this first step. And here you can use this created timestamp label for the invoice number. So I'm mapping this number. Okay. And you can put it like this. You can uh, put I N V in front of this. So you, it will look like an invoice number. Okay. And for the email address, you can map the email address from the first step only we have, where we have received the email address of the person. Okay. Right. And here it is asking for the date and the due date. So we have fetched out the current date here in the third step. So I am mapping this current date level in the date field and the due date. If you want to provide a due date, you can use this modify current date option and map this date time label. Okay. And here we have many options like the line amount type. So if you want to include text, you can include a text or you can select the any any of the options. So I'm uh, selecting have no text. Okay. The currency code is INR Indian rupee. The currency rate I am leaving it. So you have many options here. You can use all the options. You can select the status as authorized or submit for approval. You can directly authorize this invoice also from here. Send to contact. If you want to send uh, to contact, you can make it true or false. Okay. This can be set only on invoices that have the status of approved. So I have selected authorized or approved here. And it, uh, so it is showing here if you want to send it or not. Okay. In the description here, you can put the description of the line items and the line items quantity and the line items amount. So we have corrected the amount using the math operation. So I'm selecting corrected amount here. Okay. Here you can see in the line item code, you can select the line items that you have that you are selling from Stripe. 
here is we have three items already saved so I'm selecting here this item okay right so this is how you can use these steps so you can accordingly according to your need you can use all these fields right now I have uh, filled the required things only and now I can generate an invoice so after uh, filling all the things you can click on this save, save and send test request button and a new invoice will be created here in the invoices section of uh, this zero application okay so these are already created invoices I have let me click on save and send test request and see if so guys this is the response we have received here okay so let's check in zero application if we got a new invoice created or not uh, with this name jason monroe as the contact okay uh, so this is zero actually and this is my invoices page let me refresh the page here okay and here you can see a new invoice is created with the name jason monroe this is the date this is the due date this is the amount let me open this invoice okay and here you can see the item code is redmi 11i description is this quantity is one unit price and we have all the things here that we have mapped here in our workflow and an automatic invoice has been created okay so this is how it is going to work so this is the route this is the path we have created for this particular product we can create similar routes for all other products too so let me show you so as i have created this uh, second route uh, you can just clone this step also okay you do not have to manually create this same route again you can just clone this same route and we have to change a few things and the the second route will be created for the second product let me show you here click on this three dots here we have this clone option click on clone okay clone from here and you can see the first route is being cloned now when you click here on site filter and action steps the only thing you have to change here is the amount okay and here you have to amount uh, put the amount of second product so my second product uh, was this let me show you this is the first product this is the second product guys the name as uh, is a neat revision notes for biology the amount is 7000 so let's change this amount to 7000 here okay now click on save or save and send test request so when you click on save and send test request here it will show you the condition is false because the condition is actually false we have purchased redmi 11 not this per not this particular product and the price was different but in real time after setting up this automation whenever someone is going to purchase a product whose price is 7000 this condition will make true and after that a new invoice will be created for the new product okay that's how it is going to work and here you have to also change one thing only and that thing is the name of the product here in the description just change the name of the product and put this name which name this name guys just copy this name now okay and put you can put it here in the description right and now we are done these labels that you have mapped here guys are going to change automatically that's why we map the data so when you map the data like this as and when this workflow is going to trigger that means as and when any person is going to make a payment for any product from your stripe the labels are going to change here and a new invoice will be created and from this line item code change that you can also change the product from this code section so you can see here it is not showing line item code now so what we can do here we can refresh our connection connection with zero for that what we can do just click on connected button here and from here now we can use the existing connection that we have connected in the first route so just keep this select existing connection option selected from here you can see your existing connections this is my recent most recent connection i'm selecting this now i just have to click on save and i'll be connected again with zero okay so you can see we are getting connected again okay and here in the line item code you have to select this line item now okay and everything will be the same and now you just have to save this okay and we are done creating the second route similarly you can create many routes here guys for many products okay and now i am deleting this third route this is not of any use now okay and these are the two routes for two products so we are done setting up this automation guys and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that as and when any person is going to create a payment of any of your product from stripe 
the invoice will be created here like this automatically in Xero. Okay, and you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.